Welcome to the beautiful city of Phoenix. Home of the Diamondbacks, the Cardinals, endless hiking with spectacular views, and world-class golfing just to drive away. Hi, my name is Andrea and you're watching City Scene Network. We'll show you all the best places to go while you're visiting our beautiful city. Everything from sports, attractions, shopping, nightlife, and dining, Phoenix has it all. There are many reasons why Phoenix is known as one of the top visited destination spots in the U.S. With the area being known for its scenic red rock mountains, blue skies, and golden sunshine, there is no doubt that there is something fun here for everyone. We will take you through one-of-a-kind neighborhoods spread throughout the area that offer unique vibes to visitors. Areas such as the lively neighborhood of Glendale, where the Arizona Cardinals play, the young and hip town of Tempe, home of ASU, the nightlife pulse of Old Town Scottsdale, where people drink and dance the night away, plus many other places that you'll want to check out. The first neighborhood we'll want to tour is the exciting and energetic downtown Phoenix, which is located in the heart of Arizona. So sit back and let me guide you. You'll find out where to go and what to do while you're visiting here in Phoenix. You're watching City Scene Network. Welcome to downtown Phoenix, where you will find live music, sports arenas, museums, and hundreds of restaurants. Stroll through Cityscape, a two-block urban, mixed-use destination area that offers a chic dance club, comedy theater, a live blues entertainment venue, and much more. Feel like taking in some of Arizona's culture? Take in some of the numerous museums Phoenix has to offer. Roosevelt Row is another great way to spend the day exploring the downtown art scene and the famous creative work of local street artists. Downtown also has exciting events and festivals going on, such as the McDowell Mountain Music Festival and Viva Phoenix. So check your calendar to see if any are going on during your visit. And don't forget to check out a ball game. Welcome to Chase Field, home of the Arizona Diamondbacks. And right next door is Talking Stick Arena, home of the Phoenix Suns and Mercury. Chase Field is unique with its retractable roof, which is fully adjustable to let in the optimal amount of light for the field and to be sure that ball fans are comfortable. Ball games at Chase Field are an unforgettable experience that you can't get anywhere else. So check it out. Next to the ballpark is the iconic Talking Stick Resort Arena, where the Phoenix Suns, Mercury, and Arizona Rattlers play. When there isn't a game going on, you can be most certain you can find world-class live music entertainment all year long. Don't go away. When we come back, we're going to visit Glendale, Tempe, and shopping in Scottsdale. You're watching City Scene Network. Welcome back. We showed you downtown Phoenix. Now it's time for a quick visit to Glendale, Arizona, home of the University of Phoenix Stadium, where the Arizona Cardinals play. This 1.7 million square foot stadium is unlike any other stadium in the world with the rollout grass field and retractable roof. If you're checking out a game in Glendale, stick around and have a cocktail at any of the amazing restaurants. Or if you have an itchy slot finger, check out the casino in the West Valley. And of course, the Tanger Outlets is a huge destination for brand name and designer outlet shopping. So get your shopping on in Glendale. Now let's head down to Tempe, home to Arizona State University. It's just a short drive east from downtown Phoenix. You can walk Mill Avenue, which has several trendy restaurants, bars, and shops. It's also a great area to get some ice cream and people watch. While you're down there, visit Tempe Town Lake. There are miles of paved waterfront trails to take a walk or ride a bike on. You can rent or bring your own. Plus, fish, kayak, or boat the lake. It's a great place for outdoor activities without having to drive too far out of town. Now that we've had the chance to see Tempe, let's see what Scottsdale has waiting for us. When you're visiting Phoenix and Scottsdale, you should check out the trendy shopping and the upscale vibe in North Scottsdale. Kierland Shopping and Scottsdale Quarter are wildly popular shopping areas, 
filled with plenty of shopping options and remarkable restaurants attracting all demographics. Scottsdale Quarter provides the outside shopping plaza Main Street feel and holds many events such as yoga classes on the weekends, festivals, and a beautiful water fountain, especially fun for the kids. Across the street, just walking distance, you'll be able to experience more shops and dining in the popular Keeling Commons. Up ahead is more Scottsdale, more shopping, attractions, and resorts. So stay tuned, there's more to come. You're watching City Scene Network. We've given you a sneak peek into shopping in North Scottsdale. Now let's shift gears a little and take a look at some of the attractions this beautiful area has to offer. If you're looking to spend some time outdoors, you'll have to check out the Desert Botanical Gardens, 140 acres of preserved natural beauty of the Sonoran Desert. You can walk the trails, look at current exhibitions, attend one of their many events, or even take gardening workshops. And if you want to see amazing works of art, check out Casanti. The world famous Solari Bells were made right here in the valley. There is also Butterfly Wonderland in Scottsdale, America's largest butterfly conservatory. Right next door lays the largest aquarium in the West, Odyssey Aquarium that is new to the valley. If you're visiting during March, you're in luck. The Cactus League spring training happens all around the valley with several stadiums hosting right here in Scottsdale. With perfect weather and over 15 professional baseball teams in attendance, there's not a better time to catch a ball game. Still need more entertainment? Check out more incredible attractions such as the Tales and Quest Preservation, the Musical Instrument Museum, or the Herd Museum. With all these attractions in close proximity, there is no way you can find yourself without something to do. But of course, you can't forget to visit downtown. Welcome to Downtown Scottsdale. As Downtown Scottsdale says, it's where the Old West meets the New West. Downtown Scottsdale has fun shopping, killer nightlife, and superb restaurant selections. Old Town Scottsdale, shopping by day, downtown party by night. The Old Town shopping area is where Scottsdale started more than 100 years ago. It's a delightfully walkable area with over 150 shops, fine art galleries, museums, and restaurants. The shopping has a wide variety of Southwestern and modern options. You can find all of the souvenirs you need for the family back home, but you can also find that fabulous pair of shoes you've been looking for. And the restaurants are amazing. New American, upscale Mexican food, French cuisine, pretty much anything you're in the mood for. Once the sun goes down, you'll find yourself in the heart of some popular and fun nightlife. Start off with some amazing food and cocktails at one of the many bars and restaurants in Scottsdale. So just head on over to the Entertainment District off of Camelback Road and Scottsdale Road. You'll be in the middle of the most vibrant nightlife in Scottsdale, so get out there and have fun. Stick around as we show you Arizona hiking and outdoor activities. Coming up next on City Scene Network. Welcome back to City Scene Network. With over 200 days of sunshine in Arizona, you wouldn't expect people to sit around inside all the time. Arizona is home to more than 40,000 acres of desert mountain parks and preserves. The McDowell Sonoran Conservancy is just a short drive east of Scottsdale. It is home to over 170 miles of trails for hiking, biking, horseback riding, and climbing. There is something to be said about the awe and beauty of the Sonoran landscape. There are colors that the desert and rocks produce with the sunlight that no other places can attest to. If you want to go a little faster, you'll want to look into Fort McDowell Adventures. You can try horseback riding at your own speed while enjoying the scenic landscapes and river crossings. Or get your adrenaline pumping with the Jeep Tour and you can be in the driver's seat. Enjoy varied terrain, thrilling climbs, and high-speed dirt trails as you explore 28,000 private acres of the pristine Sonoran Desert at Fort McDowell. You can get to nice Sonoran hiking even quicker with trails in the city such as Camelback and Papago Park. Papago Park is in the Phoenix city limits close to the Phoenix Zoo. Its desert trails are generally smooth, easy treks with little elevation gain, making it a great place for a family hike or to hone your mountain biking skills. Camelback is a different story. 
there are two hiking trails, Echo Canyon and Choya. Both trails are difficult, while Echo Canyon is steeper and Choya is longer. With it being in the middle of Scottsdale, it's a popular hike for both locals and out-of-towners. Don't go away, we'll be right back on City Scene Network. That's it for our journey through beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. We toured the endless shopping, golfing, and resort options in Scottsdale, to the sports arenas in Phoenix and Glendale, to the trendy restaurants and bars on Mill Avenue in Tempe. We took a glimpse of the beautiful hiking the scenic state has to offer, as well as the many options of attractions. There is something for everyone. Thank you for watching City Scene Network. Now that you've seen what Arizona has to offer, get out there and experience the beauty of Phoenix and Scottsdale. If you get lost, look us up on our website at citycnetwork.com. See you next time.